we go. Well, hi, everybody. It's David George Brook, that gratitude guy, with another interview on the Gratitude Podcast interview, The Pandemic. And today, I was just thinking about it with my good friend, Gary Blackburn, who I've known a long time. I don't want to say how many, because as I've said before, you could do the math and you can figure out how old we were. But let's just say I've known him about half a century, for goodness sakes. But anyway, Gary, welcome to the podcast. Thank you, David. You bet. So uh, as you may know, the, one of the reasons I'm doing this is to really help people to get maybe some tips or ideas from other people that we're going through an unprecedented time in our nation's history and then really the world for that matter. And so a couple of questions. First one is, what is your best coping mechanism uh, through this pandemic? Oh, boy. I, uh, for me, it's probably been exercise. Um, you know, whether it's inside exercise or outside exercise, uh, there are still sidewalks and streets and so forth, or even trails that you can find that are, uh, don't have a lot of people on them. Um, and uh, at different times of the day, uh, it's a little challenging sometimes weather-wise, but I've found that if you just make a point at going outside, uh, it really helps. That's really true. Now, now exercise, knowing you as long as I do or have, uh, has been a part of your life for since you were in high school, maybe junior high. Do you find that during this time, do you dial it up a little bit more, or is it just kind of depend on when you're going through something like this for your housebound? Uh, you know, I think it's, it's kind of like your highlight of your day mm. uh, to – if nothing else, to get out of get outside, uh, and you know it's it's kind of tough now nowadays with working and talking to people and stuff. A lot of people don't move from a chair That's true. for literally hours at a time. And if nothing else, get up and walk around the house or go outside and um, just outside your own house and look at the flowers in bloom and things like that. Yeah, just to kind idea. of clear your mind. I think a lot of people are binge watching all sorts of shows and yeah. everything out of that chair and so forth. So, right. so this is a very uncertain time. And would you say now, as opposed to maybe before now, but what's your current thing you're most grateful for? Would you say in your life? All my family. Yeah. 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 And yeah. that, that's something that, you know, I think you kind of step up the effort to communicate with them whether it's a text or, uh, you know, a Zoom. We had a virtual dinner the other night. Oh, really? It's pretty oh, funny, cool. yeah. Yeah. And, you know, we're just like with the Zoom program that you have, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's pretty cool. The two daughters and different families and things like that. And That's neat. You know, yeah. you can comment on the meals and things like that. That's cool. That's cool. So you're always, you've been a guy who all his whole life's been very motivated and very self-motivated and didn't need – anybody else or keeping up with the Joneses or anything to get out there and do things. So for the person that maybe isn't quite as aggressive or as energetic as you are, do you have any ideas or thoughts or tips or somebody uh, tips for somebody who may not have the same level of imagination now that they're stuck in their house to things to do? <clears throat> well, I think, I think this, um, this pandemic that we're going through is a, is a good way to, take care of some things that maybe you've put off and think about the things that we've put off. Um, for my example, the other day, and I, I knew this was always a, um, this was always a goal of mine. And I walked by a certain window and, and outside is a little difficult because it's a little colder now and, and we're still getting rain on the windows, but the inside, and I said, you know, I'm going to make a goal and I'm going to get that window clean. Oh, that's and, cool. and I, there were actually several windows, but you know, all you need is paper towels and some Windex yeah. on interior windows. And, um, that was setting a goal of one type or another, whether yeah. it's reading a book or, or, um, you know, looking up definitions of certain things. In my case, this particular day it was um washing windows yeah it's, it's a good point because i think and this has happened to me in these last few weeks is 
getting to some of those things you've been meaning to do, but never quite have the time to, because you're so busy with everything else. Well, now you're at home. And so it's kind of neat. And I'm sure after those things are done, you feel a great sense of accomplishment, which is certainly kind of cool too. So, so last question, again, either before or during what we're going through now, do you have sort of a quote or a philosophy or sort of a mantra or something that sort of sustains you throughout your life? I know you did triathlons and a lot of long distance uh, running, biking, swimming, all that type of thing, but any kind of a quote or something that you kind of use as sort of represents your mindset or attitude, if you will? Well, for the things I've gone through health-wise on things that I'd like to do, um, yeah, boy, I, I guess the biggest thing is don't, look at ways for things to make things happen as mm -hmm. opposed to looking for excuses why you can't like do this or you can't do that. I um, like that. And, and I guess that gets back to the, some of the things you talk about the glass half full versus half empty. Um, mm -hmm. There are, there are always things that you can look at in a different light. Uh, to make something to accomplish. And whether that's um, surgeries like I had on knees and things like that, or uh, just a different attitude that you're gonna go out every day and if, oh gosh, it looks like it's raining here. I better not do that. Well, how about putting a raincoat on and, and a hat and, no, and then do it? That's excellent. That goes back to something I bring up in talks from time to time, but it's a choice to go up or down, left or right. I had a father that uh, I'd say, oh gosh, it's sunny out today. He goes, it's gonna rain tomorrow. <laughs> man, oh man, I guess that's, it's, it's your choice. It's the glass half full or half empty. So, but you've always had a real positive attitude. And I think also something else that's come out in a few calls is you're kind of known by the company you keep and you're really aware of who you hang out with. You hang out with a bunch of negative people there's a piece that's going to rub off on you no matter how positive you are. So I think it pays to hang around with people that, uh, that have the right attitude, or as I like to say, an attitude of gratitude too. So, well, thank you, my friend. I appreciate that. And uh, I wish you continued good luck as we go through this pandemic. Yeah, no kidding. We're a little, uh, again, I think the glass is half full. We'll get through it. We will. We will. Thank you, Gary. Thank you, David. You bet.